Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To insert a control into a Word form, click into the place in the form at which to insert the control. Then click the button in the Controls button group on the Developer tab in the ribbon that corresponds to the type of control to insert. After inserting the control, you then need to select it and edit its properties. To set the properties of a form control in Word, click the control to select it. To completely select an entire control, if it is shown as a bounding box, you can click the small handle that appears in the upper left corner of the control when you roll your mouse pointer over it. After selecting the control, you then click the Properties button in the Controls button group on the Developer tab in the ribbon to open the Content Control Properties dialog box where you set the selected control's properties. The properties available will vary depending on the type of form control you selected. For all controls, some properties remain constant. The properties in the General and Locking sections are the same for every type of form control in Word. In the General section, enter a title for the control into the Title field. The title appears in the small tag in the upper left corner of the control in the form when it is shown as a bounding box. To surround the control with a tag, enter the name of the tag into the Tag field. You can use the Show As drop-down to choose how to show the control in the form. You can choose Bounding Box to show the control as a bounding box. Start End Tag to show the control as Start and End Tags, or None to hide everything except the control's content. To select a color for the control, make a choice from the color drop-down. To choose a word style to apply to the control's contents for any control except the picture content control, check the Use a Style to Format Text typed into the empty control checkbox. Then select the name of the style to apply from the Style drop-down. Alternatively, you can click the New Style button that appears here to create a new style to apply in the Create New Style from Formatting dialog box that opens, if desired. In the Locking section, set the level of protection to apply to the selected control. You can check either or both the Content Control Cannot Be Deleted and Contents Cannot Be Edited checkboxes in this section as needed to apply control security. Next, you will learn about the different controls' type-specific properties you can set. If you have either a rich text or plain text control selected, and do not have the Content Control Cannot Be Deleted checkbox in the Locked section checked, then in the General section of the Content Control Properties dialog box, a Remove Content Control When Contents Are Edited checkbox appears. If you check this checkbox, the control itself is replaced by the contents the user enters into the control when they use this control in the form. This contrasts with the default method of replacing the content of the control with the new content. In addition, if you have a plain text control selected, the Allow Carriage Returns Multiple Paragraphs checkbox appears in the Plain Text Properties section. If checked, this lets users enter multiple paragraphs into the plain text control when they use the control in the form. If you have a drop-down list content control or a combo box content control selected, a list of the possible choices for the control appears in the drop-down list property section of the content control properties dialog box. To add a choice to the list, click the Add button to open the Add Choice dialog box. Then type the value to show in the list into the Display Name field. Then enter the actual value to use and store into the Value field if needed. Then click the OK button to add it into the list. To modify an entry in this list, select a list choice. Then click the Modify button to open the Modify Choice dialog box. Then edit either the display name or value fields, and then click the OK button. To remove a choice, select a choice from the list. Then click the Remove button. To rearrange the order of the choices, select a choice to move. Then click either the Move Up or Move Down button. If you have a date picker control selected, 
a listing of the possible date formats of the date and time appear in the Date Picker Properties section of the Content Control Properties dialog box. Select a date format from the choices in the scrollable list. If needed, you can also set the locale and calendar type by using the available dropdowns. You can also choose how to store the XML data from the Store XML Contents in the following format when mapped dropdown. This lets you select the format for the stored data if needed. If you have a building block control selected, its additional properties appear in the Document Building Block Properties section of the Content Control Properties dialog box. Here you can select which gallery of building blocks to make available from the gallery dropdown. If desired, you can further refine the selection by choosing a category from the Category dropdown. If you have a checkbox Content Control selected, additional properties appear in the Checkbox Properties section of the Content Control Properties dialog box. Here you can click the Change button next to the checked symbol or unchecked symbol shown to open the symbol's dialog box and then select a new checked or unchecked symbol to use. If you select a new symbol for either setting, then click the OK button to apply it. If you have a repeating section content control selected, then additional properties appear in the repeating section properties section of the content control properties dialog box. You can check or uncheck the Allow Users to Add and Remove Sections checkbox to toggle the ability of form users to add and remove the repeating sections on or off. To enter a title for the repeating section, type it into the Section Title field. After setting the desired properties of the selected form control, then click the OK button in the Content Control Properties dialog box to apply them. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.